Hello everybody, this is meteorologist Andrew Panaro outside this afternoon in the beautiful conditions. It looks like it's getting into the upper 80s right now and it should be hitting 90 where I am very soon and 90s for most, the only spot that really looks like it's going to be a little bit below 90 but only by a couple of degrees is eastern Long Island topping off right around 87, 88 degrees but hey maybe a couple more degrees there and we could be near 90 everywhere. So this is, could be day one of a potential heat wave. Heat wave needs three consecutive days in a row of 90 or more. So today would be day one. Day, tomorrow, everybody's definitely gonna be in the 90s and it's gonna be another beautiful sunny day like today. Actually, let me take a look, uh, let me uh, show you over my shoulder here. We see these beautiful skies. If I tilt the camera up, there's just a few passing clouds. These, kind, these clouds are a type of cirrus cloud out there. Ooh, let me get up. There we go. So those are a type of cirrus cloud. Cirrus clouds are pretty common, and we're going to be seeing those mixed in with the sunshine. Otherwise, it's going to be a pretty beautiful day all day long. A nice warm breeze today as well, and this is going to be the story tomorrow as well. So we're going to see these conditions going into tomorrow and even the first part of your day on Tuesday. Tuesday is going to start out pretty nice, but then we're going to see some storms come through later in the day on Tuesday. This is with a cold front. The storms and the cold front will be breaking the heat, but the exact timing of the storm could mean we get a heat wave or not. If the storms come a little bit later, that means the high temperature will be going up more because the sun will be out longer and the cold front won't have passed yet, so we'll be getting to that 90 degree on Tuesday. If the storms come more up a little bit sooner, then that means we're going to be seeing the cap of the high temperatures sooner in the day as well, so maybe not getting to 90. So it's going to be close in some areas for a heat wave, but whether it's 87 degrees or 93 degrees it doesn't make that much of a difference because it's still hot. Definitely be careful as well. There's an air quality alert for most areas, and the air quality alert means that the air condition, the air conditions, not air conditioner, are not the best for any kind of respiratory issues. So definitely be careful with any kind of strenuous outdoor activity. And definitely hydrate and be cautious. Take lots of breaks. Also check on any elderly neighbors that you have. Def uh, be careful because they are a little bit more susceptible to any kind of heat, especially young children as well. So once we get past Tuesday, the heat does look like it's going to break with the cold front moving through Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday morning, it could linger with some showers, but it looks to be getting fairly nice later in the day on Wednesday. It's just going to be cooler, right around the low to mid 70s. So we're going from 90s to 70s within a day, which is quite a change or a delta in temperature. After that, it looks like Thursday is going to be a pretty nice day, very mild though, again, uh, upper 60s to the mid 70s, so a little bit below average for this time of the year. Friday temperature goes back up a little bit, upper 70s to near 80 degrees, but later in the day we are going to see some showers kick up, maybe a rumble of thunder. The thunder chance is a little bit higher going into next weekend on Saturday. A bit more scattered showers next Saturday, but we are going to be seeing or hearing some rumbles of thunder throughout the day. So I just want to give you guys a quick little weather update with this heat wave that we're going to have. It's going to be beautiful though. I've had people say thank you, even though I don't really do anything for the weather. I just tell you what it is. So enjoy the weather, enjoy the heat. It's not summer yet, but it's definitely going to feel like summer. If you want to see any more of these weather updates or come explainer videos, I also have some car videos coming up. Definitely subscribe below and I will keep all of you updated. Have a great day and enjoy these beautiful summer-like conditions for the next few days until they start dropping the temperatures later in the week.